Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marianne Epperson and welcome to my full makeup tutorial! Yay! So as you can see, I think doing a tutorial from a tub is going to be a regular thing. That's if I am in a hotel, so... So today I'm going to try out a fall makeup look that's very wearable. The trend now is monochromatic all fuchsia, even dark reds and burgundies and berry colored lips that aren't so like defined. So we are going to do something that's a little bit more wearable for every day or even for evening. So come check this out. So I have an even smaller makeup bag today, but it's got all the products that I need. But before that, I'm going to go and just prep my face. I'm going to prep my face because I'm having a little bit of breakouts and I just want to make sure the makeup stays by putting some of these products on. I have three products from Always Sunday. This is Cool Cumber, Cucumber and Pawpaw Toner, and then I have the Minty Matcha Clarifying Mist and the Magic Milky Confetti. I'm going to start by toning my face with the Cool Cumber Toner. Now I'm using the Minty Matcha Clarifying Face Mist because I do have a little bit of a breakout here in my nose. And because my lips are a little bit dry, I'm going to be putting on Always Sunday Magic Milky Confetti Creamy Lip Balm. I have to keep it moisturized until I put on my lipstick. Right, now that my face is prepped, we can start with the makeup. So I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is in the shade 105 Natural Beige. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'll be dotting it all over my face. And with a damp Real Technique sponge, I'll just be buffing that in. I'm a little bit tanner than usual, even though I am a bit fair to begin with. So this foundation matches my skin perfectly right now. So there it is. I think it's evened up my skin tone a little bit better. Just put a little bit more on the nose because that is where I have three huge pimples <laughs> and one right here in my forehead. So to conceal some eye bags and some spots on my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand. So I've drawn some triangles underneath my eyes and I'm going to put a little bit here because I have a pimple here too down the bridge of my nose and right on my nose where I have all of those pimples. We're going to cover them up! Bye! And just a teensy bit on my chin and a little bit here on my cheek. Now with the pointed tip of my sponge, I'm just going to blend that out. Maybelline, you did good! So now everything is blended in. My face is a blank canvas to be worked on now. It's just time to add some dimension. Now to set my foundation, I'm using the Heroin Make Mineral BB Loose Powder. This is in the shade 02. Look at how nice the packaging is, it's so princessy. I'm just gonna empty a bit of the product onto the cap. I will not be using the puff because I do not want to look too powdery. I'm just gonna take a powder brush and lightly sweep it over my forehead, nose, under the eyes, and a bit on the chin to set all the foundation. Of course, under the eyes so that my concealer does increase, but my personal experience with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is that it does not increase. Especially if I put a setting spray. That's pretty much it. Next up, this mirror I've been holding is actually my bronzer. This is the Art Deco Bronzing Powder Compact. So this bronzer is just more of warming up my face. I'm not doing any major contouring. Now that we are all bronzed up, I think we can work on the cheeks. This is one of my favorite blushes. This is the Benefit Rock Couture Blush. I'm just going to use this huge brush and I'm going to sweep it lightly over my cheeks. I want that natural flush. What I like about this, it has a very subtle glow, a bit of shimmer in the blush. 
Next up is highlighter. I have the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in Forget Me Not. It is a pink pearl highlighter. It is so pretty. It doesn't go on super pink. It just has a very nice pink sheen to it. So you guys have been asking me how I do my highlight. All I do is I just take a little bit on my ring finger when I have it on there. I just tap from the highest point of my cheek all the way down to maybe the center of my eye. Just like that. Just swipe it on. I'm not gonna do too much with this cream formula because I will be putting a powder on top. I don't know if you can see that, but it's beautiful. Ooh. Next up, I'm using the ColourPop Pressed Powder Duo in the shade Done Deal. And I'm not going to be using this since I already have blush on, but just going to go into this pink, pearl, champagne-y kind of a color highlight here. And I'll be just going over the cream formula I did. Oh my goodness! That is poppin'! I'm just gonna take a little bit more and put it on my brow bone. And then a bit here in my cupid bow. I don't like putting it on my nose because I feel like it makes me look oily. So we're just gonna stick with those three parts. Now I have an eyebrow pencil. This is the XL pencil powder and brush triplet thing. <laughs> it's in the shade PD01. My brows are already pretty thick as it is, so I'm just going to fill in the little gaps. So I'm just brushing in all the product in there. All we have to do now is the eyes and the lips. So I'll be going in with ColourPop's Femme Rosa She Palette, and how beautiful is that? I mean, the colors are perfect for fall. It's got eight shimmer shades and four matte ones and I can see us play around with a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So this is my first time trying out this palette. Let's see where it takes us. So I'm gonna lightly go in with this color. It is Duchess. And let me just say, I swapped these on my hand and they are so pigmented. I just gotta be careful. So I'm just dabbing that on my whole lid. Now that Dutch is on, I'm gonna mix a little bit of Damsel and Deer together in my crease and outer V. You really want a seamless look, so you gotta blend. Blend it like Becca. That's how it goes. With a smaller crease brush, I'm gonna go in again with Damsel right in the crease. I'll be taking in a little bit of Missy as well. It's a purplish plum shade, and I'll just be blending it right here on the outer V of my eye. I'm so not good at doing dark shadow, but this is coming together. Now with my Bobbi Brown Eye Sweet brush, I'm gonna pack these two shades onto my lid, Empress and Gal, and maybe a little bit of Mademoiselle. I'm packing the pigment on, I'm just gonna be pressing it onto my lid. Oh, that's giving it just a little bit of shimmer, but not quite yet. Now with my crease brush, I'm going to be going in with this shade, Babe. It is a satin pressed powder. I'm going to be putting that right in the center of my eyelid to give it more dimension as well. Ooh, there's this like halo kind of a glow on my eyelid. Here's how it looks so far. Now I'm taking these two metallic colors, Chick and Dainty, and I'm mixing it together and I'm gonna be putting it on the inner corners of my eye, near the tear ducts. I'm gonna bring it right here, maybe one third of my lower lash line. And with my blending brush, I'm just gonna blend it into my inner corners. And then again up here, the halo into my crease. And with the cream blending side, I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the first color I started with, which is Duchess. 
And I'll bring it from here all the way down. Just in the center because we do not want to close the eyes. Now I have ColourPop's Birthday Cake Super Shock Shadow that I'm just going to pack on with my finger on the center lid just for a little bit more sparkle if it wasn't enough already. And I'm just taking that and it is super pigmented guys. Look at that. Right where I put that color I am packing on lightly the Birthday Cake Super Shock Shadow. Oh, that is sparkly ah! And again, we're just gonna blend out all those harsh lines that might have been made from putting on all those shadows. And to be topping off the look, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel Waterproof Mascara. And look at the wand. It's so thin and only has tiny bit of spikes there on the top. And it really volumizes at the root, but then flicks out and flares out towards the outside of the lashes. Weirdly enough, I don't open my mouth when I'm putting on mascara. We're gonna put a bit on the lower lash. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of the eyes. I think we did a good job, guys. <laughs> okay, so I have these two shades from ColourPop. This is More Better and Wild Nothing, but I think I'm gonna go with More Better because it does kind of match the eyeshadow look and we're going for that fuchsia berry look, right? God, stay on track. And just blending it out a little bit so it doesn't look overdone. There you have it, guys. This is the final look. Now, I really like this makeup look. I think it's wonderful for fall. You can wear this anytime if you want to tone it down, of course. You can lessen on the sparkles, lessen on the highlight, and wear maybe a more wearable lipstick. But if you really want to embrace it, embrace the trends, then here is my sort of monochromatic berry type of look. goodness why is my <laughs> okay guys and that's it for my fall 2017 look I hope you like it if you have more suggestions for future videos of course you can leave it in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a like and of course subscribe to my channel for more of these makeup videos I guess anyway guys I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs> just step it in the tub Oh my god, I, I dipped my finger into the bronzer, what the heck? Oh my god. Best ang sakit.